I was born to love you, Ray LaMontagne. Okay, that's a really, whoa. Okay, guys, that whole deck just went flying here. Okay, this is what's happening, okay? The deck flew, and there are these two cards here for you, and then there's one here. Um, those are what I'm reading for you. That was a really strong message. I have goosebumps. There's something they want to uh, say there. Gosh, okay, I'm going to put this here. Hi, Leo. Welcome to your love messages. Love reading, love tarot, oracle. I'm happy you're here. Welcome. Sun, moon, rising, Venus signs, and also cross watchers. Welcome. Oh, okay, you guys. This is happening lately. I'm feeling very drawn to looking at your cut decks. Oftentimes the cards continue to return um, when the decks are being cut, when the cards are coming. So first of all, look, Treasure Island there. So there is this wishes fulfilled, something coming to fruition, attaining something. And look, this is a slow moving toward us, toward us, excuse me, and a lot of emotional energy here with love sort of shooting out of this treasure chest, bringing something, I'll bet very slowly. There's love, there are also starfish, many starfish and a very big starfish which is about a change and something making something out of uh something work that wasn't okay that's but it's really about change here and you have this tortoise really slow but also very emotional and with the nine this is something for some of you um coming back around uh, wishes fulfilled it could be your person could be someone new. We've got to see here. Uh, we had four Aries today. Serendipity kept popping up. Um, and this also came for Aries. So your person could be an Aries. You might want to cross watch. Then we also have breathe here, you guys. This is a partnership, 11 and then two. So this is about getting some balance in your partnership. And look at all that massive emotional energy here. And just understanding what it is that you want for yourself, okay? This is very much, very similar, actually, to getting the hangman card. Um, but there is this sense of needing to um, tap into your intuition, okay? Your inner strength, um, knowing what it is that you want to do here. And kind of, um, there is a lot of emotion involved, I want to say, Leo. But I feel like some of you are already here. You're already... Um, getting a grip sort of so to speak on your emotions because you've been very emotional and there's this feeling here with the breathe card that you're look you're kind of almost above it you're here on this uh, sort of like a lily pad really and you have this this energy coming from you look this wisdom this clarity coming it's surrounding your head you have a star right above you okay it's very similar in that sense to the star card but it's all around there is this sort of coming out of the dark feeling this um Okay, I, I want to, I need to get, um, figure out what it is I want, what it is I'm doing. That's what I want to say to you. Some of you aren't here yet, but you're heading there. Okay, this is also a message from spirit. Very important coming through. Let's get a shuffle. Guys, this is a general reading. You know that, <laughs> but I have to tell you. So please take what resonates and throw away the rest. Okay, truly. Um, there's a lot of energy here coming through, so it's not all going to be for you. Um, the other thing I didn't um, get it finished saying <laughs> was cross watchers, welcome. You could be cross watching for your Leo. Could also be that there's Leo in your sign and you don't even realize it. The other thing is you could find that you're resonating, that you're watching for your Leo, and then you go, wait a minute, this is this is for me. That's normal and okay. So take it as it comes. Okay. That means there's something for you. Also, there are totems and things on the table that could be resonating with you. I do pull totems at the end. We have quite a few decks to get through here. Some love messages, some angel cards. So here we go. Look, come to the edge. That is a nine, you guys. So we have some more of this wishes fulfilled sort of thing, but this can also be about lessons learned and kind of not making the same mistakes, you guys. 
It's really interesting. It is what you think in many ways too. Look, you're somebody's sort of like saying, I'm still here. Look, I'm sending out messages. But that's also, um, this come to the edge can also be about being careful. So Spirit wants you to take a look at that if you are in fact coming back together with your person and there are some things that you need to look at that you haven't. Okay, it can be about um, being careful not to repeat the same mistakes. All right, then we have this deep knowing. Look at that. So there's, the, we already just saw the breathe card. So some of you are here already. Look, you're on top of this moon, trusting your intuition. And if you're not, you need to, okay? Whatever that's going to be for you, Leo. And look, you have this illumination coming from above here. You have, the, there's that star again. There's more sort of star energy coming through here, which is this feeling of, um, kind of waking up or trying to wake up, trying to come to some sort of um, conclusion, but also channeling your strength here, okay? So there could be some, um, I'm also feeling some Aquarius energy here. There's also a little bit of Gemini, Libra, Aquarius energy, some Pisces energy, but look, there's the owl, you guys. There's this clarity. Some of you are there, um, some of you aren't, and that is a message that is coming through really strong. Um, you don't need to be fully in the energy yet, okay? You just need to be willing to um, uh, go deeper, and you have deeper knowing there. So some of you need to be a little more honest with yourselves. Some of you are already there now, okay? Take that as it resonates, you guys. What that is, that's that's for you. You have free will, you guys, okay? I say that every time. I'm gonna do that one more time here. Um, but it's important to me that you know that. Your outcome is yours. I'm not predicting things for you, okay? I'm reading your cards, I'm reading your energy, and there's a lot of energy, you guys. So it's not all gonna be for you, and it's really important to me that you listen to your intuition tap into your higher power and know that you have free will okay wow i don't know these cards are really uh, interesting i've uh, i'm doing a lot of extra shuffling today because they're sort of sticky spirit is very strong um higher power has been coming up i want to say in almost every reading probably 10 out of 12 readings this week you guys so but there's this feeling of clunk clunk with the cards i don't know if you um can feel that. See, look, there's just this, um, and they keep wanting to show me stuff. There's this regeneration, okay? So there's the end of a cycle, starting over again, this renewal. I feel like this is you, Leo, now, okay? This can be with your person, but I feel like this is you. And here's the never-ending story. This also came down for um, Aries. And this is can be a cycle with your person, but this is more about a cycle within yourself, Leo, the sort of stuff that you have been telling yourself that's self-talk, that, that um, is not helping you and that is not for, for you anymore. It's stuff to move past. Um, very interesting here because what did we just see that I, the deep knowing card, yeah. A lot of you know, um, and you're you're already some of you already are in this energy of like knowing that you wanna move on and it's time to move on, there we go. Some of you need to hear that message from spirit, okay? That was the longest shuffle, <laughs> shuffling session of the century, but that's how it went today. That's what was supposed to happen. Look, you guys, we just talked about this. For some of you, uh, you're moving on. Um, wow, that's not gonna be for everyone, but it's there again. And nine can be coming to fruition, okay? And also a, a fulfilling, um, attainment and fulfillment, but I feel like that's for you. I feel like that's clarity that you are coming, that you are attaining. And we saw that already. We saw that with deep knowing. Interesting, you guys. Time to go. Yeah, some of you are, are moving on or you're trying to. And here we go again with the stars. Look, there's this path. Um, you're just following it, look. You're, you're walking away here and look at you're leaving these stars behind. It's like you know what to do. You've gotten some clarity here. It's very interesting. Like I said, this is not for everyone, but this is a lot of, um, the energy is very is strong enough for this to come through and come through in the, the, the cut deck, the, the message. Some of you are really um, in this energy of trying to move on. 
Oh, really interesting. And some of you need to look at that. You know, we saw that here. It's not going to be for everyone, but that... This is for you, Leo. You're kind of like a fading, if you see what I mean here. The way you're just... Um, it's slow but deliberate. And this sort of you going, okay, I'm figuring it out. And just this kind of floaty energy that I'm feeling very spiritually guided. I will not be surprised if we see the higher part card come down. Interesting. This also came for Aries, you guys. So this is about um, foundations and stability. Also manifesting that. You wanted, you wanted to know. I feel like some of you are still asking questions. A lot of you um, are are getting your answers already from within yourself because you might not get them from your person. But look here, they're at, I've just talked about the higher power card. This is not the higher power card, but this is spirit is here. I'm wanting to help you um, move on. For those of you that are moving on here, there is this sense of needing to close the book. Okay, and some of you still have these questions. And that's not for everyone, you know. But hey, guys, I'm, 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 I'm. Um, I'm, I'm the messenger. <laughs> That's what I wanted to say. Don't kill the messenger. You're not always going to hear what you want. That's just how it is, okay, in a reading. Could also be that it's, some of it's not for you, and that, that happens. Um, but this, there's a lot of energy coming through, which, by the way, I will tell you this in a minute. I just want to say, in case you were wondering about your person, um, regardless, because uh, some of you are moving on, um, or need to. That's very strong. This kept coming down when I was shuffling the Tarot Closet Love Messages, the I Miss You card from your person. I'm going to put it here for you, actually, okay? I just wanted to let you know um, that's not going to change for some of you about wanting to move on, but it's there. You guys, look. A new life card, all right? So this is 3 plus 9, obviously, is 12. That's 3, you guys. So this is about growth for you, a new life for you. Leo. Okay. You guys, um, I know it's it's like, but I don't want to move on. I'm not moving on. Well, maybe you're not. And um, there's something else here coming through for you. But, um, but either way, as far as like the time to go, maybe that's not yours. But this is yours, Leo. What, wherever you're at with your person, there is a new, a new start for you. Okay. A new life here, you guys. Look how you're stretched out and you're vibrating, literally vibrating, and you're ready. You know, you're, it's kind of like you're waking up. And I talked about that in the cut deck. We talked about this clarity, this um, some of you needing to tap into that. The owl with the stars are coming out of the dark. Look, there's this sense of waking up. You're stretching and you're, you're ready. You're ready. A lot of you are ready. You're scared, but you're ready. And some of you are already doing this. And it's painful. Growth is painful. Okay. This is a three that is about growth and expressing yourself as well. So some of you might have some last things you, you want to say. All right, you guys. Interesting. Yeah. So loyal heart is obviously um, these two people here that are loyal to each other. Look, you know, you have these, these two keys. One is a little bit more prominent than the other one. You're both kind of looking at each other. You're both wearing the crowns. There is love coming off. There is love here in front of this egg. Now, this can be your person. Um, and what I also feel like, though, is maybe your person is feeling that loyalty. But look, this is Leo. This is you. This is your reading. And I feel like this is you. You're, you're just being... Um, I don't know. Like, some of you are are in this move, moving on, I'm leaving energy, but, um, and even those of you that, that are in that, there's still this feeling of loyalty that you have. And that's the, that's the, um, that's the Leo in you here, you guys. Interesting. Okay. So let's see what else is happening here. I cannot tell you whether I see any, any movement from your person quite yet. What I'm feeling here more, Leo, is your um, your energy is really, really strong about taking care of yourself. And some of you moving on and some of you needing to move on. That's what really what's coming through here. And your person, you know, misses you. And maybe you needed to hear that. But for some of you, that's not changing whether you wait or not. Because I feel like you've been waiting um, and waiting. And you've been loyal. This is what I'm feeling here, Okay. Um, now this is an eight. This can be about kind of uh, something happening here. So it could be that there's some sort of 
um, well, that was my stomach, excuse me, <laughs> that there's some sort of movement from your person or message um, coming out, you know, about their feelings. But I feel like this is really you, I have to be honest. Um, you being loyal, very interesting. All right, you guys. Yeah, look. Now, this also came down for um, Aries, Unfinished Symphony. Here's the thing about... i got to move it up so you can see it. Here's the thing about Unfinished Symphony. Now, yes, it can mean that, that there's still, like, this love there, and it's, look, you also have loyal heart, but it can also mean that it's unfinished, that needs something needs to be finished. This also came down for Aries. There are just a lot of questions still, and you haven't totally closed the close the door. Those of you that are moving on or wanting to move on, you're trying to move on, some of you, there's still this um, need to close things up here and unfinished. So take that as it resonates, you guys. Guys, excuse me. For some of you, um, whether your person is coming back or not, we I can't see that or feel that yet. I don't see them uh, moving, um, but I see you moving. That's what I want to say, okay? And some of you just need some closure here. It's just not finished. It's still there. It's sort of in limbo. Look, it's like in limbo. It's literally what this is. It's like this egg of not knowing there's this joker sort of costume in a way, um, a little bit of a mask, and it's sort of just in limbo floating, not knowing here. And it's right on top of this keyboard, this piano, which is about needing to... Uh, create some harmony and some peace you guys and I did not move it because I wasn't thinking to move it but I put the guitar totem down back there for Aries and it stayed there so it could be you're a musician your person's a musician um, you have some connections to music or song that sort of thing but the main thing about the guitar and the unfinished symphony which were both in Aries is needing to create some peace and harmony okay so for some of you well, for sure, 100% that's for you, Leo, but also for some of you that is um, being able to close the book and have some peace with your person. Very interestingly here, and it's really like, look, it's in limbo. There's this feeling of things in limbo of you not knowing and you still having questions and some of you needing to um, accept that you might not get them from your person here and being able to close that book. That won't be for everybody but yeah, it's like floating in the air and all these um, notes are coming off of it, which is like needing peace and harmony, needing some closure. That's what I wanted to tell you. Now we have the go the distance, you guys. Let me fix this here. Okay, so this is really interesting because here's the thing about the go the distance. Like it really can be about you trying to go the distance with your person you do have the loyal heart so I do see that for some of you look it's coming like but you're also some of you are asking why they can't or why they didn't but it's really interesting because it's also about um you wanting you sort of manifesting um in some a harmonious relationship which is really interesting that it's come right next to unfinished symphony you guys Okay, this whole thing about needing to create some harmony and some healing here. Now, this is uh, about partnerships. This is uh, 447, so 112. That is about some partnership, um, your partnership with your person, okay? Or also with another person. Um, but here's the thing. You saw that the regeneration came down the card. wasn't necessarily... I'm going to shuffle a look again when I was shuffling, and I just had to. I could not... Um, help it. But this is about really um, taking that to heart, regeneration, you guys, that you're feeling, some of you are really feeling this, this, this sense of starting over this, everything kind of um, burned down to the ground and, and starting over there with the regeneration card, as you know, or if you don't, there's this sort of like tree of life coming out from these burning embers. So there is this sense of just a lot of passion and a lot of connection with your person but some of you are are moving on some of you are um, ending that cycle with them um, and renewing yourself here with the regeneration and some of you are really still really wanting it with that person I can see that here we have the loyal heart here we have unfinished symphony but like I said that doesn't necessarily mean that you're you're going back it just means that there, the book isn't closed it's not finished there's some stuff still that needs to be said and done between you the other thing that's really interesting about this card is it really talks about um, it's so weird but it talks about 
kind of like a, a new song can be written. So, and that's coming right after Unfinished Harmony. So for some of you, I, I do feel like that you will be coming back with your person. I just feel like that that energy is not as strong um, coming through here that collectively most of you are trying to move on and you're, you're already in that direction of moving on. But some of you are, um, all of you are staying loyal in some way, okay? Even um, when you have your, <laughs> when you're roaring and saying, no, I'm, I'm moving on. I believe that. Um, I see that. I feel that. I hear that from you. Um, but there is still this kind of um, loyalty and that I think is just your traits Leo that's just the kind of person that you are um, and some of you also are really wanting to um, just uh, yeah kind of write a new song really so to speak sort of start over with your person that's not for everybody okay but here's the thing about this card too it is about listening to your heart okay you have this why here you have this new life here um, it is unfinished and this is coming right after and it's very interesting. These are very connected cards in many ways. Um, somehow musically, uh, interestingly enough, and um, there is this feeling of harmony that, that's um, needing to be created um, for you to move on, but also if you're going to move on with your person here with the Go the Distance card. And this, this can be about that, but this can also be about trusting yourself and your heart, Leo. Wow. Okay, let's get your last two cards and move on here. <laughs> I, was, I was trying to hone it in and not make this an hour, but it's really hard. I just want to give you all your messages. Excuse me. Let me straighten this. Okay, you guys. So let's get a couple more here. Thank you, spirit guys and angels. What can you tell us about Leo's current situation? All right, you guys, look. It's a thinker card. So this is, um, this is eight again really interesting. That's coming up a lot for you, even in the cut deck, about moving forward, just moving in action here. You're really trying to decide what it is you want to do. Look, there are those stars again. Some of you don't know. Some of you are already um, going. Some of you have already gone and you're dealing with that aftermath of that, but you're still struggling. You're still feeling a little stuck and loyal. Some of you are wanting a new start, but you know, I feel this this, these are connected for sure. Even those of you that are walking away, you're still here. Um, and some of you, you're coming out of that and you're just kind of uh, floating off here. Um, it's painful, but you're moving on. And some of you really are still trying to decide what it is you need to do. And look, it's coming right after the Code the Distance card, you guys. And this can also be about trusting your heart. And only you can do that. Like, uh, I want to say to you again, well, that was a really weird throat chakra block, um, that this is your reading. Um, your outcome is yours, okay? I need to say that to you again. I'm not predicting anything. Use your intuition, okay? Your higher power, your guides. Trust yourself here. Trust your heart. Okay, this is your last card. You guys, this is hardly surprising. Your, look, fork in the road here. It's another four again about foundations and stability. Um, and kind of manifesting stuff here, which we also see. So some of you really, uh, most of you really, you're at, a, and now I'm having this itchy eye. This really comes up a lot with Aries, with you and Scorpio. Okay, <laughs> yeah, there's, some, you guys really, a lot of you are waking up. A lot of you are seeing things. There's stars everywhere here. There's all this clarity and waking up going on, this new life, these questions. Um, some of you are moving on here, but there, there is a lot of this sort of, like I said, there's some Aquarius energy here too, but there's this kind of waking up coming out of the dark for some of you. And for those of you that aren't, that is a message from spirit coming through very strong that there are things you need to look at um, within yourself and what it is you want. Okay. Fork in the road. That really is where you are. You're kind of just um, not sure which direction you're going. Some of you, even some of you walking away here. You're still, you're, you're not really like, you know, it's sort of when you make that decision and you try hard not to, you're trying hard not to look back. That's the sense that I'm getting from some of you here. But there is a decision for you here on the table, Leo. Some of you have already made it. And some of you are wanting this um, new start with your person. Okay, I'm not really, I see their, um, and feel and, and their energy here. 
but it's sort of they're they're not moving that's what I, I want to say to you. There is not this feeling. Um, this is more of you. I feel that you're being loyal here. They do miss you. I will tell you that. But this is um, really powerful for you, Leo. We're going to have a guardian angel card for you, okay? I'm going to pull as many as come, but there we go. It's one. Jeez, you guys. Angel of Music. Okay, yeah, this is really connecting especially with music. You guys sending messages to each other, one or both of you being musicians. Um, but here we go again with all the harmony and the healing. And look, it's coming right here with Unfinished Symphony. And also Go the Distance can be about kind of creating a new song, if you will, like um, some harmony. You have the guitar here, which stayed for you. You guys, okay. That's very interesting. So there's a very strong message here about some healing that needs to take place um, for some of you to move on, all right? And for some of you to come back together because I do feel that, that a lot of you are manifesting that. Not everybody here, though. Wow, that's really powerful, you guys. Actually, I'm going to move that again. <laughs> okay, so let's get that straightened here. Put your cards here for you. I always make such a big mess. Um, in, all the, um, in all the action here, I did not read your Angels of Light um, overall energy card. Excuse me, but it's still here for you, so let's get one for Leo. Thank you, Spirit Cards and Angels. Can you give us an overall energy card here for Leo. What message do you want to send to Leo? Okay. Wow. Wow, you guys. Leo. Understanding. Your angel guidance is to examine yourself. Gosh, this is what we're talking about. I have goosebumps. I don't want to show you my hairy arms. <laughs> Your angel guidance is to examine yourself and your current situation in depth so that you have a clear awareness of the underlying reasons for your challenges and situations. Acquaint yourself with facts about situations and attitudes before you take decisions. You guys, fork in the road, thinker, why, new lives, unbelievable. Self-awareness is a necessary foundation on which to build strong relationships, friendships, and work. Yeah, some of you, I feel like you're wanting that. That's not for everyone, but also in general, you guys. Understanding your personality is a basis for understanding your spiritual self and your mission on earth. Ask your angel to help you. Your affirmation, I seek an understanding of myself and my life. Yes, you guys. And this is you coming through here. I really just feel like you're being really loyal here. And look, it's coming right below this fork in the road, this decision. And your person is like, I miss you. But they're not moving. And you might not get your answers from them, you guys. It's going to be from yourself. And I see this whole, we saw the regeneration card here, which also goes with go the distance. There's all this peace and harmony that needs to be made here. Some of you that is with your person, okay? But most of you, it's with yourself, with yourself anyway, but especially for those of you trying to move on or moving on. But in your life, Leo, there's this fork in the road here. There's a lot of thinking, but look, right above it is this new life. You see it. You know it. You're stretching toward it. You're waking up also. <sighs> you guys. All right. Um, it feels even more appropriate um, to look at your soulmate twin flame song message cards. Because sometimes I put decks out that I feel and then I don't get to them. And there's a reason for that. But today this is um, necessary. These are messages to you from your person through song. Okay? You might recognize titles. You might not. You might um, only recognize a word or a lyric or a line or nothing. It's simply that your person has something to say to you. And actually I, I'm feeling very pulled um, to read from another music deck for you because this is a very, very, very strong energy. I think it's your person actually sending me to get it. Hold on a second. 
<laughs> yeah, they have a lot to say to you. Sorry, that was really loud. I'm just going to put them down here. Okay. All right, this is your first message. The first time I ever saw your face, I thought the sun rose in your eyes, and the moon and the stars were the gifts you gave. First time ever I saw your face, Roberta Flack. Okay. I was going to set that here. Times were tough. We made it through. We tasted the rough. So let's save the spoon. All the time I was hurting you, got to believe that I was hurting too. I was born to love you, Ray LaMontagne. Okay, that's a really... Whoa! Okay, guys. That whole deck just went flying here. Okay, this is what's happening, okay? The deck flew, and there are these two cards here for you, and there's one here. Um, those are what I'm reading for you. That was a really strong message. I have goosebumps. There's something they want to uh, say there. Gosh, okay, I'm going to put this here. Um, your person loves you, but there's something going on, and it's not going to be for everyone that you are <sighs> together. I'm really just feeling... Um, this also was sticking. It didn't go... We'll come back to this deck in a minute, you guys, but your person wanted these to come out. In your heart, I see the start of every night and every day. In your eyes, I get lost. I get washed away. Tina Turner, the best. Okay. Yeah, your person is, um, wow, really coming through through music, you guys. This is not surprising to me at all. I really have goosebumps. All right. So there's something um, that's making this connection sort of just stopped. Uh, I... I Maybe another person, a situation here. Okay. Yeah, there go the last of the cards. So that was, um, <laughs> wow. It might have appeared to go unnoticed, but I've got it all here in my heart. Bette Midler, wind, wind beneath my wings. Okay, I feel like you have been there for your person, and they want you to know that they are, they're acknowledging that. Ain't no sunshine when you're gone. Yeah, we saw the missing you card here. Um, it kept coming down when I was shuffling. So that's a very interesting card. Um, here, there's a confirmation for you. Now, you guys, this does, I know this is not going to mean that some of you are, are going back with your person, but this is, this is what your person is wanting these messages to come through very strongly. This is our fate. I'm yours. Okay, well, that's going to be true for some of you, but I feel like some of you have moved on. Or are moving on, but there is this feeling here with Go the Distance about creating this harmony, which comes right after un Unfinished Symphony, of um, being back together, coming together and sort of writing a new song, if you will. But this is also the Go the, Dis go the Distance about trusting your heart here. You do have new life on the table. You have this thinker here. All right, you guys. Um, I'm going to... That was intense. I'm going to continue here with your... Volume 2 love messages, but your person um, pulled me over to that deck. Hi, guys. Okay, sorry about that. I just had to readjust, but my battery died. I don't know what where it picked up. Um, I keep rereading this stuff, and then I looked, and again, it wasn't even recording. Okay, spirit is super strong, and your person's also getting um, kind of feisty here because they've been really quiet and not moving throughout uh, most of the reading, and... I don't know what where it, the battery died, and I can't check now. I'm just going to backtrack a little bit just in case, okay? I want to tell you that I was reading Volume 2 of your song messages, Twin Flame Soulmate song messages, from your person, and was kind of, like, really... Um, I was begged to go get the other deck, and I did. Um, and then it went flying, literally, like, took flight. I've had goosebumps for minutes straight, just that weren't ending. And particular cards came down. Um, I, I might. This might be a repeat, um, and I don't think I'm going to. I'm just going to leave this here for you. But um, and these were the so the the messages that were coming out when it flew down in your heart. I see the start of every night, and every day in your eyes I get lost. I get washed away. Tina Turner, the best. We also got another confirmation of I'm yours. This Jason Mraz song. This is our fate. I'm yours. We also got them confirming that you've been there for them, Wind Beneath My Wings. It might have appeared to go unnoticed, but I've got it all here in my heart. Um, we have this confirmation of I miss you, ain't no sunshine when you're gone. Bill Withers, ain't no sunshine. Here's the thing. Um, 
might be a repeat. You might have heard that because I don't know where the battery ended, but your person was really like uh, not moving and quiet. And then the, the longer and the stronger the reading became, um, for those of you that are moving on, there's this energy for some of you wanting to kind of create a new song, so to speak, with your person. Um, a new start here with the Go the Distance, sort of going through all this. Um, and it, your person was sort of feeling that, some of you walking out the door, closing the book, moving on, and was getting nervous and is really coming through very intensely now almost telling me off um, not to let you go. I have goosebumps again, I can't. <laughs> it's just, uh, and here's the thing, um, there's some clarity also in the loyal heart. This is you, Leo, but for some of you, this is your person, but there's something keeping them, um, you guys. I can't tell you what that is, but there's something keeping your person. <sighs> wow, yeah. I'm a little bit of heavy breath there. Sorry, but this is really intense. Your your card literally, is, your cards, excuse me, took flight across me like a, um, a bird. Just literally just whew. And then there were particular cards for you. They're kind of annoyed um, with me. That's what I want to tell you. Um, because they feel like I'm encouraging you. But I'm not. You guys, this is your free will. Your decisions, what you do with your reading, with, you know, with your life. This is you. You have new life on the table. I'm, I'm just, I'm channeling the energy and reading for you, okay? So um, I want to apologize to your person, but I'm really just, uh, I'm sorry. <laughs> this is, this is what is here. Some of you are moving on or some of you are trying to. All right, you guys, the Tarot Closet Love Messages. These are the last messages to you from your person, and uh, <laughs> we already got the I miss you. This is your last chance, okay, um, after this deck. I care too much what people think. All right, so your person is telling me that there's other people involved in this connection. It could be a third party, but it could also be family or friends. It could be some differences that you have, and that's something It's very similar in some ways to the Hierophant and also a little bit, um, there's a little bit of Emperor energy here, interestingly enough. Oh, that just came down here. So there's some Aries energy here, which I already felt. This is a lot of um, connections to Aries here too. That won't be for everyone. It could also be another Leo, you guys. And even a Sagittarius here. There's a lot of Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, especially Aquarius energy, Aries. There's a lot of energy here, okay? Almost every sign, really. You have changed me for the better. Yeah, that's a very twin flame soulmate thing to say. So they want you to know that here. You have been there for them. And you, um, yeah. What happens when you're in separation from someone you're really spiritually connected to? Um, you start to see the things that they did. You start making improvements in your life. It's very common. And they're uh, confirming that. Do you want to say to your person, this is your last chance, okay? Unless you want to, that was me flipping um, the deck by accident. Unless you want to come through in a totem, we'll see. All right. Yes, I know you love me, so there's some confirmation for you. I feel like you've been telling them that and also through this reading. I feel your frustration, but I also feel some of you, your your sadness is really like you're just kind of on the uh, here. Yeah, but not not even with, you know, this um, crossed legs. It's more like sort of collapsed down. But guys, some of you are coming out of that. And if you're not, you will be because you have the new life here, waking up, stretching out. It's a lot of illumination here. I could listen to your voice all day and night. Okay. Yeah, there's definitely a music connection, but um, there's just also this feeling that they, um, you guys talked a lot. And that also came um, for Aries. Um, the, wasn't this particular card, but there was this message coming through about, um, I could listen to your voice all day and night. So that the, for some of you, it really is an Aries. I'm waiting for the right time. Okay, so there you go with the go the distance for those of you that are feeling like you're waiting and not moving on. 
they're letting you know that. But, you know, there is this limbo feeling that things are in limbo here. So that's not going to be for everyone because I feel like you've been waiting and you have been loyal. Very um, appropriate for Leo. Oh, Leo. Wish I could give you a hug. I need a hug too. <laughs> that was really intense. All right, you guys. You were so good to me. There we go again. Yeah, and we see that here on the wind beneath my wings. So you also might have done a lot for your person. Could have involved career and money or car, a car somehow driving. I don't know. That's not going to be for everyone, but that's what I'm seeing. All right, you guys. These are the last messages. Please never give up on us. All right, that's not going to be for everyone, but they're begging now. Oh, I feel your energy. Yeah, look, there's some begging here going on. My heart is yours. But, you know, like I said, I just know that for some of you, you're moving on. But they're feeling that really strong. Look, they're really begging now. Will you wait for me? There is this um, feeling. They're kind of mad at me for um, talking about it. But that's how it is, you know. You're never far from my mind. These are the last two, you guys. I'm always with you. Well, here's the thing. When you have a, a deep spiritual connection, even when you are moving on, there is still this connection, this love, this loyalty. All right, so there's this loyalty on both ends, but that's not going to mean for everyone that this isn't over because some of you really are going and you already have. I will never give up on us. All right, you guys. I also don't feel like this is for everybody because some of you will close this book and make it difficult. Um, but there, there's this energy that your person is not going to stop um, trying. That's not for everybody here, but it's definitely... For, well, that was my stomach. Excuse me. <laughs> for some of you, because your person is really intense and being very intense with me... Um, so let me just fix that. Sorry about that. Okay, you guys, I'm going to get some totems here. This is to be quieter. I got this beautiful coconut bowl, but it's still quite loud. I'm pulling them away and I do not look. I'm really curious to see what's coming for you today. Wow, you guys. Okay, where do I even start? All right, so here we go. Here's a four. This is about manifesting. Stability and foundations. I'm putting it here with the Y because that is what you want. And you have right down below with Go the Distance for some of you about creating something new. But this is also about trusting with your person. But this is also about going the distance, you guys, um, with yourself. And this is trusting your trusting your heart, literally. That is what this card can be. Excuse me, it's not showing up since the battery died. I apologize. I don't know if you can see that now, but about trusting your heart here. So there is the four. So about, you know, and you have the new life here. You have the new life here, Leo. You know, just having some stronger foundations and stability for yourself. You have been manifesting that. I don't even know where to begin in some ways here. This is so intense. Now here's an H. That can be a place, a person. Okay, I care too much what people think. It could also be about somebody that's in their life uh, with an H. Take that as it resonates, but it came down there. For some of you, it was very particular. All right, so we do have, um, this is like getting the um, uh, the card, and almost like it's very similar to the energy oracle deck where you have the heart, you have the flower here. It's like this blossoming love. So for some of you, there is new love coming. I want to tell you that. Oops, sorry, that's blurry. And some of you are going to be um, hanging on and trying to come back with your person, but that's not for everybody here and blossoming again. And that's, you know, they're, they're begging. I will tell you that. There is this energy here for some of you. All right, so here's that starfish energy. Again, we saw that in the cut deck. Um, your person wanting to... Um, and, well, here's two things. Your person wanting to kind of make something better now, come back with something better. So it kind of belongs here, but also not in many ways. I'm putting this in the fork in the road. Or actually with new life, excuse me, that's where it belongs. Because the other thing, it's, it's about you also, Leo. And that's coming through strong here about starting over and having a new life and 
taking what didn't work, what was uh, making you feel bad, wasn't working in your life, and do something good with it. And I feel like some of you are already doing that, but I'm putting that down for you. And here's a confirmation. There's the leave, so things are changing. You're, you're already in that, I feel like, or you're moving toward that. All right, you guys. Um, look, here comes the owl. I haven't seen this in a while. This came up on your deep knowing in the cut deck here. And we see a lot of that energy here with the thinker, the new life here. And look, here's the loyal hearts here. Um, but this is also about the wisdom. And you did get the angel of um, music, but Aries got the angel of wisdom. And it's very interesting, but I feel like I'm channeling um, that for you as well. Okay? There is some, it's very much here. A lot of you need to trust your heart, trust your intuition, figure it out what you're doing and some of you keep moving because you're looking back even though you know you want to move on I'm putting this here because this is um, really more about you trusting yourself here because you have been very loyal I feel like and there for some of you there needs to be more um, loyalty to yourself that's what I want to say Leo we already know we saw the soulmate card um, there is some soulmate twin flame energy here for sure when the swan comes up that is this everlasting deep love um, and um, soulmate twin flames and it can be if you imagine a swan how they move across the water they glide really beautifully but there's this fierce protection for each other so it's very interesting um, there is this um, friendship too that you guys had I feel like for some of you that e are even moving on there will always be this connection here and for those of you that are coming back together there is this protectiveness look with this um, yeah I don't know how else to say it um, now here we have this double confirmation here we have the angel of love there and here is the angel of love again guiding you so either way Leo whether you are moving on from your person um, or going the distance with your person here, or closing the book and moving on with this un unfinished symphony, excuse me. There is love coming your way, and we talked about that. I do feel that for you. Um, the angel of love is guiding you, so I'm going to put this here in your new life. There is a need for you to be um, channel your strength here, though. You did get the alligator, and this is sort of um, kind of like channeling your own inner fierceness here also this is your person coming through a little for me <laughs> kind of uh snapping a little bit very strange feeling that I have um but there is this feeling that you need to channel that for yourself I'm putting that here also with new life okay and look, don't be scared by this skull and crossbones. So this is you saw we saw the regeneration card already. You guys look angels of music. Very interesting. Yeah. So, you know, the music uh, notes and instruments can be about harmony and healing as we talked about. Um, and the regeneration and also the death card, which is what this is like in tarot in some ways. Um, that there is a new start, that something ended, something something is beginning. And being in that it's on the angel of music here, for some of you, it's this creating this, being able to be at peace with your person, whether it's for you being at peace with yourself to move on here, close the book, or be able to um, have a new start and close the book with your person. Take that as it resonates, but this is very similar to um, a little bit like the death card, a little bit like the regeneration card. It's not a bad thing, you guys, so don't be nervous when you see that. And if you look here, there's two hearts also um, on this. Um, so there is a, a, a restart, a rebirth, kind of a renewal in love, whether that's with your person, all right, um, or someone new. It's going to be different for everyone. And this is your last totem, and it, I love when this comes. It's so beautiful. You have, a, you have somebody in your life that has um, departed, that is guiding you. This is your guardian angel. It's a penny from heaven, you guys, okay? So um, rest assured you're not alone. I have goosebumps. Um, whatever decision you make and whatever's going on in your life in general. Um, here's the thing. This is a love reading, but as you probably know by now with my readings, I go much deeper, and which is also why I will be um, beginning soon. Let me know in the comments offering, again, life readings. Um, and I might be actually doing that on my new channel. Um, we'll talk, talk more about that later. Um, but I feel just so much that you've been going through a lot as well in your life here. Okay. Um, and this is a love reading, so I won't go there. But I, I do want you to know that 
Um, I feel that and I can see that and you're not alone. Um, I'm sending you love and light and also you have your guardian angel here. So whoever that is for you, I will read the date for you. That might resonate, it might not. We have 1987 here, so we do have a 10 here, this new start. They're acknowledging that. We also have the 8, the, the action, so that, that is happening for some of you now and for some of you that's coming. And then we have the 7, which is about in numerology looking back and also taking stock of where you are and getting some kind of control. But your guardian angel is with you throughout this and is sending you messages and signs, um, okay, whether it's here today but or not. Um, they're all everywhere for you. They're everywhere. You also got your, um, um, where did we go here? The understanding card here. We got the vulnerability card. I don't know. There we go. Oh, no, that's the imagination. Sorry. Interesting. Okay. Wow. That was Aries. There's a real connection. You might also have that in your chart, but there is a strong vulnerability with you, Leo. And much like the Aries with their horns, you have your lion roar. <laughs> but your um, guardian angel and angels, okay, it could be more than one, are with you throughout this. So look for signs. Look for signs and numbers. Look for repeating numbers. Your angel numbers, 333. There's um, the 11, 1111, 222. There's so many numbers repeating, okay? Um, look um, in the symbols in your life and the things that are happening and things coming on and off and unexplained you know, you having your own intuition and people coming to mind and they're calling, whatever. The, the signs are there for you and they're coming um, and your angels want you to know that. Um, they're sending them, okay? They're with you. Very intense reading. I have goosebumps again. Um, okay, Leo, I love you and please take care of yourself. Um, love and light to you and I will see you next time. Bye for now. Mm -hmm.